Hey guys, Kevin here. Thanks to everyone who tuned into the live stream last night. It was a lot of fun. And we talked about ASIC mining, GPU mining, and a lot of other subjects. After the live stream, instead of going to bed, I stayed up. I stayed up for another hour or so, and I tweaked the power settings on all my graphics cards. So I went into MSI Afterburner, changed the power limit, changed the core clock, changed the memory clock. And I was getting help from some people in the Safecoin Discord about this and, and doing lots of tests on my own as well. And I managed to reduce my power use by over 1000 watts. I don't have a power monitor over there, like a meter that's monitor monitoring at all. I actually did buy one at the start of my mining journey, but rec uh, I returned it because I didn't have a backlight and then didn't buy another one. Uh, but Awesome Miner shows me how many watts are being uh, used with my graphics cards. So I have reduced it by about 1000 to about maybe 1200 to 1300 watts going by what the, the watts are for each GPU. So I want to show you all in this video what I'm talking about and talk about why I did it. So the, um, the algorithm that I'm using is Equihash145. Some people are calling this Zhash. And if I set up Awesome Miner here, you guys should hopefully see it. There we go. So I'll bring this, I'll bring this uh, up here. So, oh, that's my screen. Oh my God, what are you doing? Right, OBS has been funny. Right, so I'll move to the side here and hopefully you guys can see this and not hear all the background noise. So what I've got here is all my rigs. So this is an individual 1080 Ti and this one is disabled right now because I'm recording. So I'm recording and which is why that one is disabled and the, the video would be all stuttery if I did have that one active. When I'm not at this PC, that one is active though. Um, I've got rig 1, 2, 3, and 4. All of these rigs have 8 GPUs, 8 1060s. You can see that there in the description. 8 1066 gigabytes, and again, and again, this one has 5 1080 Ti's. Now, if you look down here at the power draw, you know, the, the, the default for a 1080 Ti is like 250 watts. I've got them drawing just now about 158 watts, 166, 156, 55. You know, there's a little bit of variation as always. And it's the same with the 1060s. You know, at stock, it can draw about 120 watts. And I've got them about, well, that one says 71 watts. This one's 59. This one's 54. This one's 66. This one's only down to 52 watts. So, as you can see, I have with, uh, reduced my power. So, I've reduced the power in, um, in MSI Afterburner for all of my rigs. Now, this was something that was desirable for me, firstly, to reduce the electricity costs, and I've probably reduced my electricity costs by a third, and I'm actually hitting my head thinking, why didn't I do this sooner? I do know why I didn't do it sooner, if I'm honest. The reason I didn't do it sooner is because what I was doing before, when, you know, mining prices were better, was I was putting my cards a little bit, you know, I was overclocking them, I was reducing the power to about 80% or something like that, 75-80%. But I did that so that I could jump around different algorithms and I didn't have to mess around with the GPU settings uh, too much. But I'm mainly switching between 1445 and Lyra 2Z. And Equihash 1445, you know, they increased uh, the, the different parameters, the N and K parameters changed. And you require about 2 gigabytes of RAM to, to use this now, which is what they had to do to stop ASIC mine machines. Um, but, but it was quite a hungry algorithm. You know, switching from Lyra to Z, which is very cool, very quiet. I switched over to Equihash 1445, but it was very noisy and it was very, very warm. Now, I did some video tests about this a few weeks ago, guys. So you know what I'm going to tell you is that I found out with that algorithm that if you took away the, over, uh, the overclocking and if you reduced the power, you didn't see a massive drop in the um, in the hash rate. Not a, not a massive amount, not by what you would expect and what you actually see in many other algorithms. So I reduced the power clock. I reduced the power clock in my 1060s and in my 1080 Ti's. So if I show you my monitor for a second, this is what I'm seeing. This is my, my screen. Now this is a 1080 Ti, which is um, not active right now. Well, it's being used to record, but it's not mining right now. And these rigs are set up in the same way. And if I pop up here, you can see here, um, in fact, that one's at 60% right now. I've put this one down to 55, so that's a little bit different. But the, my other rig, I've got it at 60%, 150 megahertz, one uh, minus 502, and then the fan speed. I've got a custom fan, fan curve set up in MSI Afterburner. 
So what I'm going to do is I'll actually I'll change that back to 60 just so it's consistent. Um, so I've got these at 60% power now, and before they were about, about 75, 80. Now, the interesting thing that you see there is minus 502. And if I look at the GPU settings of my 1060s, you will see the same thing, minus 502. And you can see I've got plus 175 for the, for the core clock and 55% for the power limit. So those were at 82%, I had them at before. Now, if you look over here, you can see this is my basic way. I didn't do it in an Excel spreadsheet. I just took a, a, a little basic notepad and I was taking some notes down. And you can see here at 55% power, core clock plus 175 minus 502 memory, which is what I've got just now. I'm seeing a hash rate of about 20, 21. And you can see that there, 21, 20, 20, 21. You might see the odd 19 like there, but you also see, uh, oh, that one's actually 18 there. So that's quite low, but then you get 21. So it's, on average, it's about 20, 21. Some of the, the, the other settings here with the plus 591, you know, putting the memory clock up, I was only getting an extra soul per card. Not a huge amount. Um, and then this was the previous settings that I had. I was getting between 23 and 25. But I've, I've reduced, I've took away the memory overclock and I've reduced the power from 82 down to 55. And I'm only losing like four or five souls per card. Don't get me wrong, you know, across the board, I am losing souls and I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, and the 1080 Ti's, it's the same story. You know, before I, I, I tested at 65, 53, 54, I dropped down to 60, 51, 52, um, and then power 55, it's 50. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to test these ones again to see what the sweet spot is. I might go back down to 55 for this rig. But you can see, you know, the, the, the power usage is down um, for all the cards. And you can see the temperatures are down there as well. Like 48 degrees there, 51. It's very warm in the UK. I'm sweating here like a pig. Um, not a very attractive, but it is very warm in this room. And my 1060s, which always run about 10 degrees warmer normally, um, you can see these at 63, 57 and all that. So, um, I'll take this away. So, um, the key thing there that you probably noticed is that I have my memory clock set at minus 502. Now, I've been mining for several months now. I've looked at lots of tutorials. I've looked at lots of videos and I've discussed optimal optimal settings with a lot of people. Like whenever I tried a new algorithm, I'd go into the Discord group and say, hey, what's the best settings for this? Does it need a lot of memory? Does it need a lot of core clock? And I'd adjust the settings for that algorithm. Over time, I became a little bit less hands-on, if I'm honest, because I hate messing around with it as much. Uh, but it is something that is necessary and it is something that GPU miners have to go back and do every now and then. When I was in a Discord group in SafeCoin last night, I was chatting with another few people uh, and they said, you know, we were sharing hash rates and settings for Equihash 1445 and they said that in most algorithms for NVIDIA cards, the memory clock isn't really necessary too much. I know that maybe Ethereum is memory hungry, but for most algorithms, it isn't necessary and you don't need a, a large memory overclock. Now, I will get additional souls if I put up my um, memory clock and, you know, the, sorry, looked, changed the wrong camera there, but um, if when I changed to the, um, when I reduced the memory clock here, I was seeing like a soul or two being taken off, maybe like one soul or two souls, not by a huge amount, but what they were saying was that the memory overclocking not only draws more power, it also puts out lots more heat, which again, the reason it uses a lot more power is because the fans have to run a harder to cool it down. So one of the problems I had with Equihash, when it was running at a higher power level at 80 odd percent, etc. One of the problems I had was that this room was unbearably hot. Now it is still pretty hot, but it is cooler and it's a lot quieter. So it's a lot quieter than it was before. My fans are spinning but they're certainly not spinning as hard as they were before, before they were going like crazy. So it is quite interesting here um, about what I've done here. But if I, if I put the, I'll show you awesome miner again. Now, um, if you look here, you can see I'm getting about 50. That's a little bit of a bizarre one there, but I'm getting about 50 uh, souls for a 1080 Ti and, you know, 2021 20, roughly for, you can see 1922, but yeah, 2021 for the, um, for the 1060s. 
The total here right now is 733. If I add 50 to that, when this, you know, when this 1080 Ti is activated, it would be about 780. I'm finding I'm getting about 750 S, sorry, about 780, 785, 790 total. Goes up and down. But when all my GPUs are running, I'm between the 780, 709 soul mark. Now, pre previously, the settings that I had bef last night when I was doing the live stream, before I did all this tweaking, I was getting about 890 souls. So I've taken about 100 souls or so off my, my total setup. I'm losing 100 souls. But that is about 12% or so. So it's about 11, 12%, 12% or so, something like that. So I've reduced my total hash rate by 12%, which, and this was something I was kind of debating myself, am I doing the right thing here? But I've lost about 1,000, 1,100 watts or whatever it may be, 1,200 watts even. I've lost a huge amount of power and I'm probably saving myself about 100 pounds per month in electricity. So I think I've reduced my electricity cost by about a third, which is very significant. And I have a more optimal um, hash rate, you know, uh, and hash rate per watt. Um, this is the thing, guys. I'm. Uh, you can say that you're better. Like the mindset that I had before was that I should just run my cards as hard as they can, just hold all my coins. I'll make the money up for the additional electricity costs long term. But it's kind of silly to think like that because if I'm saving one hundred pounds in electricity every month, I can simply just buy coins with the the money that I save. And what I've got left is a more efficient rig. Now, some people disagree with this. Some people say that you should just run them as hard as you can. It depends. It depends on your setup. It depends on your graphics cards. It depends on the algorithm that you're mining. And it also depends on your mindset. But of course, it also depends on your electricity costs. I'm in the UK. Electricity prices are quite high. I'm paying around 12, 13 pence per kilowatt hour, which is, you know, about the 18 cents per hour, per kilowatt hour US and US dollars. Um, it's a big expense. It's a it's a major expense, and it's an expense that eats into your profits. So, yeah, I, I was always in two minds as to whether I should just you know r let the graphics cards run super a uh, hard, push them hard, just let them run and do what they do, and then just burn the cards up over the next two years, run them until they die. But it does make more sense to to bring down the power level uh, and bring it to a more appropriate level. Now, this isn't new. I did this before. Several months ago, when I started mining Ethereum, when I started mining the original Equihash 209, I optimized all my power settings. I changed everything, and I got it down to what I considered to be, what I considered to be the most effective uh, balance between power and hash rate and efficiency and all that. But at the time, I we were in a, a bull run, so prices were higher, so you weren't thinking about electricity as much. The problem is since then, I've changed algorithms a few times. I've mined Lyra 2Z, I've mined X16R, X16S, I think I tried that as well, and Lyra 2Z and Equas uh, 1445 and all that. And when you change these al other algorithms, you do have to reset. Because I had my all my GPUs tweaked for Ethereum and for Equahash 209, and I could switch between them and I just had them powered. It just seems simpler to keep them maxed out so I can switch between all these different algorithms. But now that I'm switching between 1445 and Lyra 2Z, I can afford to reduce my power limit. And that's the good thing about 1445. Out of the box, when you run Equihash 1445, yes, it's ASIC resistant right now. Long term, who knows what's going to happen. But right now, it is ASIC resistant. Uh, I think it's nice hash resistant right now, but you can uh, rent rigs from mining rig rentals. But it is a GPU friendly algorithm. Out of the box, it's not that good. It's power hungry, really power hungry. Your GPUs will run hard, will pump a lot of hot air into the room. But as I have seen, and as everyone else has seen who's did a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of testing, and as I showed you a few weeks ago, when you reduce the power limit, you're not reducing the hash rate by that, that much. So I did all these tests three or four weeks ago, but I put my power, well, one of the reasons why I put my power rating back up was because I was actually um, going on holiday for a few days and I didn't want my my uh, rigs to be down for any reason at all. So when I come back, I didn't get around to tweaking it. I'm, I'm glad that I did. I'm really glad that I did. So thanks to everyone in the Safecoin Discord who I was chatting to last night. The one thing I want to do now is maybe look at my GPU curve, maybe see if I can change that. I think it's okay. I think my GPU curve is okay. Maybe I'm being a little bit aggressive with my fans and pushing them a little bit too hard. 
but it is cool in here and ultimately that's what I want to do. I want to cool my GPUs. So this is a long winded video guys, uh, but I wanted to show you what I was doing and, and as you can see, you know, these hash rates here that I'm getting, when you drop the power rating down, you're not losing a lot of hash rate. And it's something that I encourage you all to do. Do some testing, drop down the memory clock, drop down the core clock if necessary, push it up if you want, drop down the power limit, see what your hash rate changes to and keep checking to see what the hash rates go to. I have lost about 100 souls, but the money that I save in electricity and the pleasure of sitting in a quieter, cooler environment does make it worth it. I really do have a more efficient rig now and Equihash 1445 does seem like a more suitable algorithm for me to mine now. I can mine a lot of coins on it, you know, Safecoin, Bitcoin Z, Bitcoin Gold, uh, Litecoin Z, a, a few others as well. And everyone was saying that Lyra 2Z is the summer algorithm. Lyra 2Z is awesome. I love it. But if you tweak your GPUs, if you reduce the power on 1445, 1445 will give Lyra 2Z a good run for its money. It really will. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. If you're mining uh, a coin that uses Equihash 1445, I encourage you to follow my example and do some tests. Reduce the power outage. Do exactly what I did, guys. Just open up a simple uh, notepad, Google Docs or some sort of spreadsheet or something. Write down what the hash rate is at each power setting. You will start to get closer to the sweet spot. And it, 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 it's, it's not an exact science. You really just want to get as close as you can and, and try and get the right balance between power and uh, hash rate. So thanks for watching, guys. I am a happy happy boy. I've reduced my power outage, uh, the power use of all my rigs in total by around 1,000, 1,100, maybe even 1,200 watts. The only one that I might change is this one because this is my main PC. This is the one that I use for video editing and sometimes I do need to use the graphics card for video processing and editing and recording and all these other things. But by and large, I've did the right thing. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do leave a comment and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Until next time, guys, take care.